everybody from the Carpathians. This is the mountains in Ukraine, located in the western part of Ukraine. And today we are going to climb the highest peak of Ukraine, which is called Hoverla. There are a lot of people, big line, to go to this mountain. Let's do it! So if you want to climb Hoverla, first you need to find sports base Zaroslag because that's where the route starts from. And in order to find it, you can check out the GPS coordinates down the video. Also, I'm very excited. This is my first time of climbing to Hoverla. Um, the peak is 2061 meters. Let's see if I can make it. Once you come to Zaroslak, you may be surprised by the number of people that are going to climb with you and the souvenir shops which are located down the mountain. Here we go, starting the route. As it was my first hike to Hoverla mountain, I decided to do it with a group of people and with a guide. If you can walk fast with a group, you can do it in a group actually. If you prefer walking slowly and enjoy the views, it is maybe a good idea to take a private guide. I was always told that Hoverla hike is not a complicated hike and everybody can do it, even children can do it, which is true, children do hike Hoverla, but it's not as easy as I thought, honestly speaking, you still have to be in a good physical shape. I'm going with a group of people, 11 people. There are always many people coming to, to this mountain as everybody wants to conquer it. As you are climbing Hoverla, you should remember that you are in the National Reserve, so the area must remain very clean and tidy. You should respect the nature that surrounds you. I was Hiking Hoverla in summer, the weather was fantastic, it was warm and it was very pleasant to take this hiking route. Hoverla being the highest mountain in Ukraine is not the most complicated trail to do. You can easily hike Hoverla and back in one day and it will take you from 5 to 6 hours, sometimes 7, depending on how fast can you walk. It's very far from easy. The best time to hike Hoverla, to begin your hike, is early morning hours, as early as you can make it, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, 9, because the weather in Hoverla in the mountains in general is very changeable and usually the weather is changing in the afternoon at one o'clock so it can be very sunny and the weather can be very nice but suddenly there can be storm and it's gonna be very difficult for you to go back and it's also very dangerous in the storm uh, to hike Hoverla and just to be there, especially if you are not an experienced hiker and you don't have proper equipment with you uh, because you went for a one day hike. Hoverla Trail is very often underestimated by the tourists who are not very careful what they take and these cases may end up unfortunately so just a kind reminder mountains is not a joke even if you think that the weather is nice and it's very easy still you have to take a minimum of 
proper equipment with you such a jacket water proper shoes the range of Carpathian mountains belongs to very young mountains which was formed at about 25 million years ago and this is considered to be young so you probably guess that before this used to be all bottom of the sea you see all those people are going to the mountain those of you who watch my channel regularly know that i love different kind of legends and history and that's what i'm gonna tell you while we are walking and watching amazing breathtaking views probably many of you would be wondering where the name hoverla comes from and this is the story so long time ago when this territory belonged to hungary there was a very famous hungarian baron who was well known with his travels all over the world and once he was sitting and realized that he haven't been to the mountain which was very high which was the highest mountain in the region and did not have its name by then and so he was sitting and drinking with his friends and he said that he's gonna conquer this mountain his name was Janusz Nod and as he promised he of course in the summer went to hike the mountain back then there were no trails for hiking so he was looking for the route with his people and friends they say that some of them gave up and he was threatening and shooting to those who did not want to proceed with him and so all of a sudden the weather has changed and summer turned into winter and hail and terrible snow and only three people survived and when they were running down they screamed hovar which is translated from the hungarian as the snowy mountain so we just passed a smaller peak which is called Hoverlana and going to the higher one. It was not easy to get to Hoverlana as well, but it's about 300 meters more to the highest peak of Hoverla. And although maybe it doesn't look like that in the video, but I have to tell you that that smallest part was the hardest to hike. Last meters are the most complicated ones. <laughs> I was very lucky with the views that I had back then when I was climbing because usually when you climb Hoverla, this is it. the this mountain is the itself likes fog so it's usually very foggy and in very rare cases you have crystal clear weather and you can see all the neighboring peaks and mountains i'm happy i made it <laughs> so far that's all it was a very difficult hike for me indeed and when i climbed up i was very happy to find people who sell water there the price of the water is 100 hryvnias per bottle which is much more than in the shop and also you would expect when you climb the top of the mountain you would want to sit relax watch calmly the views and enjoy them but as you see it is not possible to do on top of Hoverla. It is interesting to know that the first hike to Hoverla tour hike was opened in 1880. 
enjoying the views and going back is important step to do to finish this trip successfully so i have to also comment on the hiking back which is quite a complicated one and um, the tour guide really helped me giving me the one of his um, hiking sticks Although on the video the road back doesn't look very steep, but believe me it is very steep and it's very good that it was not slippery on top of that. Going down is also tricky, not so easy as it seems like. One thing for sure why you should definitely try the hike to Hoverla because of the amazing views which you can observe only hiking to the top of the mountain. If you choose a different route on the way back, you can also find the range of waterfalls which is in total uh, 80 meters and it is one of the highest in the Carpathians now it doesn't look like something but when you go a little bit further down and look back you will see how amazing this water looks the spring water in the mountains you can drink it's very refreshing and very nice after the hike I'll be finishing my story, my vlog. Thank you very much for those who were watching. Please subscribe to my channel, it is very important to me. It is important that you share the information among your friends and those who are interested. I will be very happy if I read your comments in the comment section. And see you in my next videos. Thank you for watching.